Hello guys, welcome back. Alpha here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install multiple plugins with the Raychook.exe, or you know the Raychook in general, without having to overwrite files, load them manually through the console. Uh, people are having a hassle with that. I'm going to show you how to do that quickly, right here. All right, so first off, what you want to do is we have already like two plugins, two to three plugins for the Raychook already. Of course, the first one's the Ultimate LSPDFR First Response DLL, and we have the Speed Radar. So I'm going to just pretend I don't have these files and I'm going to reinstall radar. Here it is, the 1.10. Now what you want to do is this file. You have this one and this one. This file it comes with almost every, if not every single Rage plugin that's going to be coming out. And what this says is uh, this file is the startup file which will load up all the plugins. It's like a console command that loads up all the plugins. And we'll view that quickly right here. It's going to open up this thing quickly. It's a load plugin speed radar. Do not, if you have LSPDF or any other scripts, unless this is the first script that you're using with Raychook, do not put this file in. What you want to do instead is you want to go to plugins, put speed radar down here, override everything because it's obviously, I want to make sure that everything here is good, MPH. What you want to do next is you want to copy this one right here. Control C, make sure you have .dll. You don't have to, but it's recommended. You go to the the startup prphs. This is already that is already in your directory. Want to hit edit with Notepad plus plus. I'll link you down below for that. And what you, I, it's already here. Pretty much what you want to do though is you're gonna type in load plugin. Open quote. Kind of paste it. Make sure you have .dll. You don't have to do that, but it's just recommended that you do. Control S or save by going up here, file, and then hit. And, uh, well, see, it's already saved. But say I did something like this, this option will be there. So, actually, right there. Save. So, now when I open up the game, which I'm not going to do it, but pretty much what's going to do is that's going to load up those two plugins with when you launch this. So, that way. If you have like more than one plugin for Rage Hook, you don't have to do this. Okay. Now, if it's a new plugin, I just recommend that you open it and get get this, and then just put the quotes with the .dll on the end. Say if it's like it's some plugin we've never heard of that's for Rage Hook. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, leave a like. If you found this confusing, leave a comment, and I uh, can help you out as much as I can. Leave a comment if you just want to thank me or, hey, do whatever. Um, but I hope this really helped you out, guys. Uh, and so with that being said, stay chill, guys. Alpha out.